Well, hello, it's Dave. And Jacob. Here again asking all the important questions, such as, do you want to see something new? Of course you do. And things don't come much newer than this yet unreleased graphics card. So today we've got the AMD Radeon 7 here in this box. We're going to take it out of that box and show the whole process on camera. Yeah, it feels like there should be some sort of like catch-all term for that sort of thing. Yeah, disinterring, no, a deboxing, an exhumation video, maybe? Yeah, no, I don't, there's, there's some weird connotations there we probably mm. want to avoid. Anyway, whatever, let's dive in. So while Jacob fumbles with the packaging, let me explain a little bit about what the new AMD Radeon 7 is. This is essentially the second generation of AMD's Vega graphics architecture, given a 7 nanometer die shrink from its original 14 nanometer beginnings around 18 months ago. It's the GPU design AMD has been using for its latest professional cards in the Radeon Instinct range, but because of pricing concerns, it wasn't considered feasible to release a $700 graphics card. Then Nvidia screwed the pricing pooch and started shifting out expensive new GPUs all over the place, which seemingly had AMD thinking it ought to get in on that high price action. And so, here it is, the AMD Radeon 7 in all its beauty. Well, nearly, because I think it might tip out that way. Yeah, don't do it like that. Okay. Oh, it? And then there's the thing. It's okay. the box. All right, you hold, you hold it, just make sure it won't fall. It's not going to fall out. Look, here's the shi shiny graphics card. With the Radeon AMD sort of like reference fan design type thing. And it looks pretty shiny. But we've also got this little display thing. Look at that. I'm quite excited about okay. this. Okay, all right, easy. Let's get this out. Yeah, who cares about the graphics card? It's all about this this thing. Look, oh, that, is, that is actually seriously quite bloody heavy. It's like this, and it's designed so that instead of actually putting your graphics card in the box or in your PC, you can just have it on display. Instead, so when you when you finish doing like whatever rendering or graphicsy things that you want to do with it, you can just like throw it on this stand. So that's a uh, that's, genius. that's genius. It's genius, and it also is apparently light up. Oh yeah, so I feel like this. we need to give this a whirl. Okay, all right. Here's the shiny card. There's more packaging for me to unravel. The other cool thing it's is the you've actually got the the Vega 20 GPU demo thing right there. And I was like, if I have it, we've got a little little thing so we can do a, a side by side comparison. Shiny. Oh. So what you can see here is the actual, this is the GPU bit here, um, and this is the new 7 nanometer GPU, you can see it's a lot smaller. And that's what's allowed them to double the memory capacity. So we've got 16 gigabytes of HPM2 in the new one, and only 8 in the old AMD uh, Vega, Vega 64. And that's because of the new 7 nanometer architecture. They can jam in a whole lot more. I'm not doing well with this. You're not doing well with that. I'm not, you? I'm really not. Okay, right, so stick, stick, stick this in. We've got, got to see this light up. Yeah, oh. and it totally didn't take forever to get these batteries out. No, no, you won't be defeated by plastic. No, or by putting batteries in. Make sure you're getting the right way around, Jacob. Always do. Yeah. Always. <gasps> wait, it's on. Wait, wait, wait. God, don't, Save don't, it. don't, well, I, I Save don't, it. Even, don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Okay. Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, Kieran, hit the lights. Okay. I was going to count it down, but oh, that's moderately disappointing. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, flashed it. It's different colours. Now it's gone red. It's gone orange. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's an LED. Some LEDs for you. Yeah. RGB as well. RGB. You know how much you love those. Oh. At its heart is that 7 nanometer Vega 20 GPU, with 60 compute units totaling 3,840 graphics core next cores inside it. It has a base clock of 1,450 MHz and a boost clock of 1,750 MHz, though AMD does report that it has a peak engine clock, whatever that really means, of some 1,800 MHz. In terms of the memory, AMD has seen fit to kit it out with a massive 16 gigabytes of second gen high bandwidth memory, and with that is a 4096 bit memory bus to give it room to breathe. And speaking of room, it's only because of that 7 nanometer die shrink that the GPU is small enough to have four HBM2 dies around it. Compare that with the old RX Vega 64 and you might be a touch disappointed by the core count. As the name suggests, the first gen Vega has 64 compute units, which gives it 4096 GCN cores. But that would give it a similar spec to the new Radeon Instinct MI60 Pro level card, and AMD probably doesn't want to cannibalize sales on that bad boy. You can also see why AMD has strapped a triple fan cooler onto the Radeon 7, because the new card is clocked significantly higher than the superheated RX Vega 64. Despite the huge expense of HBM2, AMD has still doubled the memory count compared with the GDDR6 VRAM used on the RTX 2080. 
There is talk the HBM2 takes up half of the Radeon 7's bill of materials, so it will be interesting to see what difference it makes in terms of performance. So those are all the relevant specs, but what you all really want to know is how it performs. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to share with you any of our benchmarking results until later this week, but AMD has teased some performance figures of its own, which it says puts the Radeon 7 on par with the RTX 2080, and in some cases beating it. I mean, that's a mighty ambitious stance, but AMD has shown it topping the Nvidia GPU in Far Cry 5, Battlefield 5, and Strange Brigade. These are, as always, worth taking with a dose of sodium, as cherry-picked manufacturer benchmarks will always show their card in the most favourable of lights. These are very much AMD favouring games, so there is a good chance that in the final reckoning we'll see some gaming performance wins for AMD, but there are also likely to be times where the Nvidia GPU still has the edge. That's the new AMD Radeon 7 in all of its metallic glory, and we'll have our full in-depth review with independent benchmarks for you later this week. Yes, so thanks for watching, and if you've liked what you've seen, give us some like, subscribe, bell ringing love, and check back for more PC gaming and hardware stuff on PCGamesN.com. Bye!